Now you've been living in lack of money. You have been living in poverty. You have been living in financial depression. After this spiritual work, your money problem is going to be solved and you are going to live in abundance after it. Okay? Today we're going to be using a very powerful natural ingredient that has worked and it is working and it will continue to work. So what you will need is garlic. Okay? So garlic is very, very powerful. It is a spirit on its own. It works for cleansing. It works for attraction. It works for money flow. It works for business boost. It works for everything that you can think of. If only you know how to use it right. So that's why I want to guide you today on how to use this to make sure that you never lack anything good in your life again especially money okay so now you're going to get one garlic for me okay so you only need one so and this garlic you don't need to peel it don't peel the skin off it's all good if you like you can wash it a little bit to remove the dirtiness around it so that it is very clean for you to use and you're going to get tissue paper if you like you can get toilet paper if you like you can get white plain paper okay and make sure you have a lighter or your pen any type of pen at all so you're going to write your name your first name and your last name you're going to write it on the paper okay and you're going to write any amount of money that you want if you like you can write your bank account on the paper. You can write the location where you are, the country that you live as I speak. If you are using this to attract money into your business, you can put the name of your business on the paper too. So if you are working for somebody, a company, you want them to give you a raise at work. You want them to increase your salary you can write the name of the country of the company here if you're using this to request money to get money from somebody you can write the name of that person too okay so and you're going to now get this garlic also you will write your own name on, on top of it your first name your last name and you're going to write the amount of money that you think reasonably you can get and now this is where it's very important don't be greedy when you do this spiritual work don't say okay precious told me i can just use garlic to just keep getting money from people no your intention matters okay there are some things that if you put greed into it it will not make it work for you you get what I'm saying? So let your intention matter. Be genuinely in need of this thing. So that's why you're doing this. And at the same time, don't be a lazy person. Somebody that doesn't do anything. Somebody that just sits around and just think favor is just going to fall into their hands. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to put in some effort. It's either you have a business, you have a job. Or you are looking for a job you are working already okay so these are the ways that will make things work for you fast okay so once you get your garlic write your name your first name and your last name write the amount of money that you think reasonably you can get okay so once you do that you take the paper and you're going to put the garlic into it and now you're going to fold it. You're going to fold the paper towards you. Remember, the folding of paper is very, very significant. It has its own spiritual significance. Okay? So once you fold it like this, you are going to keep this garlic under your pillow. If you like, you can keep it in your paws. Because a lot of people may say, oh, I don't have a paws. Okay, if you don't have a purse, you can put it in your bag. If you don't have a bag, you can put it in your pocket. Okay, 
So remember, this will be under your pillow, your own pillow, and make sure that nobody else sees this thing. Nobody should see it with their eyes. Because people have negative energies. You're moving around with people, they all have different energies, negative one. So once they see it, they will cast evil eyes on it. And this will spoil the spiritual work. That's why you have to be very careful when you do the spiritual work. Make sure it's only you that sees this garlic, this paper. So make sure that when you do it, you are by yourself. You concentrate on this spiritual work. Then after folding it, keep it under your pillow, your own pillow. So that when you sleep, you sleep on it. And when you wake up, you would take this paper, you make a prayer into it, intention, things that you want to happen to you. Let's say you are going out right now, you take it, you pray into it, and you make your intention. And you are going to keep it in your pocket, you go with it when you go out. When you come back, because you are home, right? Then you keep it under your pillow when you want to sleep again. So you keep doing this. When you sleep, it's under your pillow. When you go out, you keep it in your pocket or your purse or your bag. So you make sure that it's always with you. Okay? So then you can do this for like seven days. Don't get me wrong. You can do it for as long as you want. And let's say you've done it for seven days and you have still not got answer because people get answers at different times there are people that would do this right now and it will happen within 24 hours whereas some people will do it for three days then it will happen within three days so if in your own case yours doesn't happen in 24 hours or in three days or in seven days you can just take this garlic throw it out and make another garlic you do it as i've said okay then you repeat it it must surely work for you so go right ahead and do this and once it has worked i want you to come to my channel and share your testimony okay and it must definitely work if you love this video if it is helpful give it a thumbs up like comment and share this video with your friends and family for more spiritual videos watch these videos over there they will definitely help your life I'm going to talk to you in my next video. You know I love you and I'm sure you love me too. Okay, I'll see you. Bye-bye.